the latest real estate market stats and sales figures are in for the month of August in Ottawa. Hey, it's Curtis and Asha with Royal LePage Team Realty. Each day I work to help buyers and sellers achieve their real estate goals. If you're thinking about buying or selling and you have questions about the current state of the auto real estate market, my contact information is provided in the description down below this video. If you enjoy this update, don't forget to hit the like button to subscribe so you don't miss out on future content like this. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. According to the Ottawa Real Estate Board, the City of Ottawa saw 1,100 sales in August, an increase of more than 10% compared to last year during the same month. Despite the year-over-year -year increase in sales activity in August, we're still down more than 11% from the five-year average for the month. With over 9,400 cumulative sales throughout the first eight months of the year, home sales in Ottawa are up by 6% compared to where we were last year at this time. Ottawa Real Estate Board President-elect Paul Zan says the board is encouraged by the sustained levels of activity that took place throughout the summer and says that a busy fall lies ahead. Coupled with a third consecutive interest rate cut from the Bank of Canada, we're anticipating a heated market in the fall. From an inventory perspective, more than 1,900 new listings hit the market in August, just slightly ahead of last year at this time. There is currently three months of available inventory in Ottawa. This means that if no new listings are added, it would take three months to sell all the city's remaining inventory based on current activity. The MLS home price index showed that the overall benchmark sales price for a home in Ottawa came in at 646,000 in August, down 0.3% from last year. Single family homes were $732,500. Townhouse and row units came in at $502,200 and apartments came in at $416,800. The sale to list price ratio in August came in at 98.1%, meaning that homes are selling for almost 2% below their original asking price. This indicates that there is room to negotiate for home buyers looking to make a purchase. After the Bank of Canada cut interest rates by a quarter of a point in both June and July, the month of September began with a third straight rate cut. The bank's governor, Tiff Macklin, signaled on September 4th that additional rate cuts could also be on the way if inflation continues to trend downward. Should the auto housing market benefit from additional rate cuts, we certainly can see a significant jump in demand. I look forward to helping you achieve your real estate goals.